going on, man? You already know what it is, dog. Now, look, I'm going to tell you something right now. This video right here is going to be special. You know what I'm saying? We only do it the AMD way. Amazing, masterful, dominant with the go to the game hip hop gamer. Now, listen, not everybody can be a champion. You got to put a lot of hard work in. You got to understand what it takes. And I got somebody with me that understands just that. You know what I'm saying? This dude knocking home runs out, going crazy. You know what I'm saying? This dude is a champion for real. Oh, what? What? You don't know who I'm talking about? Let me take, let me, let me take my jacket off a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Let me take my jacket off. You know what I mean? Because you see how it says ass pros, right? You know what I'm saying? So you know where I'm at. We out in Houston. You see the hat? We out in Houston. And one thing about an Astro, they got a star. You know what I'm saying? It takes a lot to be a star. And I got a star I want to introduce y'all to right now. So without further ado, everybody that's watching at home, put your hands together because the energy is here. You know what I'm saying? Spinning the chain on that. I give y'all the one and only World Series winner. Put your hands together for my dude, Kyle Tucker. What's going on, baby? How you feel, man? I'm good, I'm good. Yo, what? I'm hyped, son. What's going on? You had no choice but to be hyped. You know what I'm saying? So, just a couple of questions to you before we present to you a present. You know what okay. I'm saying? So, first question is, not everybody gets a chance to make it pro. So, what's some of the disciplines, like, you know, some of the things that you went through that allowed you to be great? And not just great, but become a champion, mm -hmm. man. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, there's, there's only a select few guys uh, mm -hmm. that are playing in... Pro ball, and especially you know fewer guys in the big leagues. So yeah, I mean it takes a lot of hard work and you know learning through watching you know guys that you watch on TV and stuff like that, and trying to pick up on little things that you know kind of separate them from the rest of the field. So it's just a lot of hard work and a lot of time like by yourself trying to figure things out like yeah. in the back background that people most people just go and watch the game. They don't see what goes goes on behind the scenes. So nice. there's a lot that goes goes on behind the scenes that you know you got to keep working hard at and trying to get better and kind of separate yourself from everyone else Woo! the man talking that talk now i got something else for you that's very important right now mlb the show 23 is out how do you feel just like seeing yourself you know saying mm -hmm. in the game do you ever use yourself or do you <laughs> use somebody that you want on houston astros next year like you know what i'm saying like i mean if you don't let us sit on that yeah no that being, being in a video game is pretty cool i mean growing up Playing video games, and, you know, play you know sports games, other games, and stuff like that. Yeah, you know, I played a bunch of baseball games. So being able to be a part of a video game now is, yeah. pretty, is pretty cool. It's pretty sick. So um, I mean, I, I always play with the Astros just because like I got to play with my boys. So. <laughs> I got to play with my boys. So yeah. I, I mean, I, I'll be playing with them every single time. Now I gotta ask you this now. Uh, MLB isn't the only game you play. You know what I'm saying? I hear that you're nice on Fortnite. So what, what, one thing I want to ask you is, uh, do you see yourself actually being a character in Fortnite? If Unreal Engine at the yeah, games yeah. came to you like, yo, you know, you're a champ. We want you to hit a home run, but in Fortnite, in a game, we want you in there. Oh, like, what, what goes on, man? What's yeah, up, man? Yeah, if I can be a character in either Fortnite or like any other games or something like that, that'd, that'd be sick. I mean... You know, yeah, it's one thing you know being part of like an MLB game, yeah, yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. that. But then you're now like going into other video games like Fortnite, like Call of Duty, like some other stuff like that. I mean, that that would be pretty sick to be part of. So now, one of the reasons why we're here is because we want to make sure that, especially with this upcoming season, you can play no matter where you go. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? So one of the now shout out to my man Emil and stuff like that. But we was talking and he's like, "Yo, um, Kyle wants a laptop." but not just any laptop. He wants to be able to play his games, he wants to be able to travel, stuff like that. And he was telling me that, like, you're a gamer's gamer for real. It's, it's, it's not just, you know, let me just do something here and there. You really go in. So where did that passion come from, like, you know, playing games, you know, whether from a kid to now, and how will this laptop help you out? Like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Talk to me about that. Yeah, so, I mean, I grew up, you know, playing video games. With, I still do. Uh, yeah. I play a lot with my brother when I was younger. We've been in the same house, and I still go over to his place, play a bunch of, like, NHL and stuff like that. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. But, you know, during the season, we do a lot of traveling. We play, you know, three games in Houston. We'll go to Seattle, play three games, and to Oakland or L.A. or something like that. Yeah. So we're traveling around all the time. Thanks. And, you know, having a laptop and stuff will make it easier to, you know, play on the road and stuff like that. It, can, it kind of takes your mind off baseball and kind of relax and 
you know, free up your mind so then you can, you know, worry about the field stuff when you go out there. Yo, real talk, I'm gonna tell you right now, because Evan told me this. Evan, Evan was like, yo, Powell is a real nice guy, like he's really cool. But I'm gonna tell you right now, I think when he be playing games and stuff like that, like I think he be trying to figure out like who I'm gonna destroy, who I'm gonna hit a home run on tomorrow, <laughs> and be taking it out on us. Like right? you don't say it all online, you know what I'm saying? So Without further ado, one of the things that's very important in terms of character is you want to be original. You want to be who you are. Yo, Kev, we did it, baby. Shout out to my man Kev with Origin PC. We got the target right there. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to the family AMD because now that's what you got. You are officially powered by the AMD dev team. And wait till you see what we got to give you. So... Drum roll. So, before I give this to you, you gotta put the belt on. You gotta hold the belt up real quick. You know what I'm saying? You gotta hold the belt up. Because you got the A and D on the belt. Now, now this right here is something special. This right here is something special. Now, let me explain something to y'all. This right here, the Corsair Voyager, this comes with something that not everybody has, right? So, if you look here, you get a close up. When you see these S buttons, these S buttons, yo, Kyle, this is integrated Elgato software. Mm -hmm. Integrated. Which means is when you like playing a game but you stream it and stuff like that, S1, you can get a shot of your face. S2, then you get your live gameplay okay. scene. S3, now if you want to talk to the audience and just y'all too, boom, you can do that. S4, be right back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yo! It is integrated. That right there blew me away. That's one. Two, the screen, 240 hertz, bro. That's all you need to know. So yeah. that QHD plus yeah. 240 hertz, that joint is bleedingly smooth. Now, another thing is, this is an AMD Advantage uh, laptop. What this means is that all the best parts, all the best testing has been made so there's no guesswork. You know how a lot of times you get a PC, laptop, whatever, mm -hmm. and it could work great, but then certain parts may not work well with each other. Yeah. And then next thing you know, you get another, <laughs> you get another one. Yeah. This one right here, for a champion like you, we had to make sure we got the best mm -hmm. for you. The Voyager is the not the best, it is the best. And I seen it at PAX East. Yeah. And people was crowding around it. This right here, this is it. We real, got you. Real deal. This is the real deal. You can gain. You can stream, and even the most demanding games, you can get over 100 frames per second on it. So, this is our gift to you, and before we give it to you, we also want to say thank you for your hard work, because your hard work inspires others, and we just want to show you love, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, thank you. Like, you know, so we just want to show you love. So, I'll take the belt right now. I'll take the belt. We held it long enough. Now, this is that moment. You know what I'm saying? So, Kyle Tucker, we present to you Corsair B Original with Origin PC, powered by AMD and the Red Team, the one and only go to the game hip hop gamer. We honor you, we love you, and we're going to show our support to you by giving you the official gaming laptop voyage. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Now, what's the first game you're going to play? <laughs> I don't know. I got to load it up. Get Get it all set up and everything. See, see, what, see what some of my boys are playing right now. Get it going. Yo, now let me ask you this, man. Um, is there is there anything? Cause I talk I talk a lot of, uh, to the kids about this, but when you're playing certain games, obviously it's co-op and team-based mm -hmm. games. Do you build chemistry through gaming that actually helps out on the field? When you're playing, like, and if so, can you like break that down too? Because that's something that a lot of people don't even realize. But mm -hmm. it's important how your relationship in a game and your communication in the mm -hmm. game can actually transfer over to your championship play. Yeah, I think it definitely helps. I mean, you know, as a team, you might go out and grab like a dinner or a lunch, or you know, go do an activity, go to you know, talk golf or something. Yeah. Um, you know, that's kind of team chemistry. But yeah. you know, now you can do it, you know, from the comfort of your home or in the hotel room or wherever when you're traveling, you know, you can just hop on the game, you and whoever on your team or some of your friends can kind of, you know, get on the same game, start playing, build that chemistry, but through yeah. gaming rather than, you know, being, you know, person to person. So I think this will definitely help 
you know, build the chemistry in the clubhouse makes us make, make us better team overall. <laughs> Let's go. So for our last question, man, and this is this is once again very important. Now you see, I got the Houston on. You know what I'm saying? Astros all day. At the same time, I am from New York. You know what I'm saying? I am from New York. So you got the Mets and you got the Yankees. Mm -hmm. I'm not a fan of the Mets. You know what I'm saying? I like the Yankees as well. But here's what I want to ask you: Who do you consider like a real rival? Like to y'all in the baseball world, and if you could take it out on them in a game, what game would you choose to battle your rival in? Where it's like, look, Kyle Tucker, you got the whole team, y'all all set up. We want to battle so, so and so in this game to like settle the rivalry score. <laughs> uh, so you can do it in a couple. You can do it in a couple sports games. I mean, obviously, it's easy yeah. one you can play the show. Um, I mean, you can play some UFC. Oh, what you play? You a little bit, a little bit. Oh my god, yo, I'm, I'm, yo, I'm like, all right, cool, cool. Because like, and, and what would be that rivalry team that you would want to battle against to like settle the score with your new? I mean, you team? could also do something like Call of Duty, where you have like you know six guys, eight guys, ten guys on a team, so you can do like your whole team versus their whole team or something like that. Yeah. Um, I mean, we've had you know some good some good playoff games against the Yankees, so. You know that might be that might be up there. I mean, they. I mean, for the most part, we've been playing them. You know, mm. in the playoffs. It seems like every single year. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they they got a really good team. They always give us you yeah. know good competition, good game back and forth. So I'd probably have to go with them right now. One thing I would love to see, I would love to see if we at Houston Stadium or if you at Yankee Stadium. But if there was like a time where you got like the game on the scoreboard <laughs> and y'all literally on the field playing the game on a big scoreboard for like an activation for like an event, what? That will <laughs> shut everything down. But till next time, give it up for the one and only, the champion, you know what I'm saying? World Series, Houston Astros, Kyle Tucker. One love, God bless, AMD, baby. Amazing, masterful. Dominant. We out of here, baby. Peace. Woo! Yo, 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 what's up? It's the go to the game, hip hop gamer, hot 97, Logitech, G A M D. It's going down, baby. You know what I'm saying? And don't forget to get that plinch. Download the cheats. You know what I'm saying? Go to plinch.com. You already know what it is. So we about to play MLB the show 23, right? And you already see before we even get into this. Shout out to my dude, the World Series champion, MLB, Houston Astros, my bro, Cal Tucker. Much love. I appreciate you, sir. You know what I'm saying? And I'm glad you got the Origin PC AMD Advantage joint. You hooked them up. You know what I'm saying? And there's a lot more, a lot more to come. You know what I mean? So on that note, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? And if you're having a great time, if you're really enjoying yourself, you know what I mean? Put your city in the chat so I can shout it out and show y'all love. Now, we about to get up in the Negro League. You know what I'm saying? You see Jackie Robinson right now. This is historic. This is the first time this has ever happened. You know, look at that. Buck O'Neill. John Donaldson. You know what I'm saying? Like, are you kidding me? Hank Thompson. Ru uh, Ruby Foster. Hilton Smith. You kidding me? You know what I'm saying? Like... This is crazy. This is historic. So, we about to play right now. See the story. Let's get it on. What love and God bless. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Get everybody up in here. You know what I mean? It's going down. On that note, let's get it on. Let me know if everything look good and sound good too. So, now we just going to go to the beginning. In many ways. Let's go. Jackie Roosevelt Robinson was the beginning, but also the end. He was the beginning of change, not only in baseball, but in American society. His breaking of the color barrier also signaled the end of the Negro Leagues. And a lot of people don't know that Jackie Robinson's illustrious professional baseball career began in Kansas City in 1945 with the Kansas City Monarchs. The question that is so commonly posed to me is, was he the best player in the Negro Leagues? And the answer is no. 
There were other Negro League veterans who were far superior baseball players to Jackie Robinson. And that is not to disparage Jackie Robinson because he is one of the greatest athletes in American sports history. He was a four sport star at UCLA. Baseball was his weakest sport. But Jackie wow, Robinson baseball was his weakest was sport. Absolutely That's crazy. The right man to be the first. So he's college educated. He had served in the military. He military, college educated, he would become football, married to all the of that. beautiful Rachel Robinson. He was stable. You see, Jackie had what I like to refer to as the intangible that better prepared him to deal with the immense racial hatred that he would be confronted with, which is part of the reason why he was the chosen one to break Major League Baseball's color barrier. Let's go, baby. All right, so now it's time to play. A life is not important except in the impact it has on other lives. I love that. Such a great quote. Yo, look at the graphics, son. You hear that music? Look at this game. Well, he said it, it sounded like the Robinson audio is echoing. For the first time as a member of the Kansas City Monarchs. Really? I don't know why, because I got the... I was going all the way down. Jackie Robinson had so much inner strength right, to endure go. the burden of being the first to cross the Major League Baseball color line. Ah, I swung way too fast. I'm too hype. Jackie too hype. talked about the role that Faith had in making him the man he'd become. Yeah, he was teaching Sunday school every week at his church while being a four-sport athlete at UCLA. And his reverend from childhood became a mentor and longtime friend to him. It was a major touchstone in his life. Ah, uh, okay. The 0-2. Cuts on it and misses. Ah, That's a strikeout. I got some high cheese. I struck out, y'all. Strike three. Okay. Come on. I need more time. Call time out. Um, uh, to disable all batting tutorials. All right, cool. All right, let's go. Let's go! And that one is lifted in the air. Glass settles under this one ah, and puts the squeeze on that out. one. Two down. Those first couple of years in Major League Baseball, before Jackie was allowed to fight back, his self restraint was just Boy, Jackie, incredible. Let's hit this whole run. He went through, and on top of that, he was clearly one of the best players in the league on the field. And that one. Oh. Oh. Well, we got a first pitch breaking ball right there that he clearly liked the look of. I like that one about to go. To let it travel a little longer. Let's go. And that one is lifted in the mm -hmm. air. Smith ah. makes the grab. And that'll do it. Oh, man, it's the end of the fifth. So, yeah, you know we're telling the story right now. Come on, Jackie. We got we to we gotta make this happen. I playing on um uh, yeah I playing on console uh Walter. Swings and misses. Yeah, I'm reach for that one. one. I'm so horrible at baseball games now. I used to be a lot better. Oh and two as he waves okay. at that right. Gotta stop swinging for everything. Got him. And that is and that. I should have swung at that. I'm so horrible at baseball games right now, man. Alright. I could try again, but I'm not. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna go to like an official game. But I just wanted to show y'all what you know Jackie Robinson looked like, how that story is, and in the way um the moments are in the Negro League story section of the MLB sh the, the show 23 game. So now we're gonna back out and we just gonna go to a regular game. So let's go to a regular uh, exhibition. You know, shout out to the Houston Astros. You know, they won. You know what I mean? So, you know, we got to we gonna go to their hometown. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, New York all day. You see my hat. Got to go to the Yankees. So let's go. And we're going to play at.
Uh, you're gonna go to the Astros and play there. All right, let's go. Let's get it popping. So, yeah, let me know if everything still looks good and sounds good. I hope y'all enjoying yourselves. What y'all think of the game, you know, so far? Uh, when was the last time y'all played baseball or something like that? Let me know y'all stories real quick. Glad you're with us. We've got baseball on the show. It's the New York Shout out to Tarzan in the building, MDJ in the building, Bross in the building, uh, Willie, Willie News. Yo, and Extreme Cold, I see you, Superstar. What's going on? Yo, right Tay Kelly in the building, 24 Karat. Uh, shout out to Walter, King Mo, Aaron like in the building. No fear Big Cloud, I see you, baby. You already know what it is. Let's get it. And getting jammed, but I shout out to Jersey Rich in the building, Joel Brown, Lou Nas. I see y'all. Let's get it. Make sure that you stay up on your fluids. And it's not just Mike Johnson in the building. This is something that you have to Much do love. Let's get in it. advance if you're someone that's prone to cramping. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go. And All right, on the let's hill go. today, Framber Valdez. And Singy, he's to get it started. a workhorse. Loves pitching deep into his starts. I think it's a lot of uh, um, Raymond. Pitch mix. So I mean, Ramon. Him, it's always oh, interesting to see how he utilizes cool those weapons. He may lean on right, one go. or two pitches depending on how things are going and how things are working. But if he can control four or even five of those that's offerings, cool. look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. That was a line He's drive really right there. Line drive right there. Balance. Here comes the one. And that oh, one is cool. inside oh, ball one. Got to concentrate. Good oh, eye right there. Chris Let's Frommer go. Valdez has turned into you know, one of the best Getting better, you know, staying focused, getting better. He's got that power sinker and the power cologne. And the power curveball as well. Just Woo. a joy to watch him pitch. It seems like he's been around a long oh, time. Kind of an two, old two pitch. Soul, two, two pitch coming up. I'm two and punches. two. Ah. Dang, I should I should have went for it. Okay. And here is Anthony Rizzo. All right, come on, come on, Ant. Woo! Popped up to the left ah. into foul ground. Bregman is ah. under it. Rizzo out of the play. And there's two down. And time now to check out the New York Yankees lineup. Let's go. And the key to victory for them here. Get their starters some run support. Yo, early. shout out to Chi Chi the guard. Chi Chi the guard in the building. Much love, man. The other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets. Yo, Aaron is in so the building. Yeah, you haven't played baseball in a while. I got away. you. Jump out to a lead early so. and a few runs is gonna feel like 30. Glaber Torres in the box with two gone and yeah, takes a All look right. at a called strike. Yeah, just goes about his business, gets a lot of ground balls when they put it in play, and just loves being out there. And as for the cologne, makes uh, him pitch better, he believes. I always fast, thought cologne man. made me smell better. Oh, in let's go! Dirt, Maldonado to first, uh, and it's in time for the third out, so that'll end the inning. Middle of the first. Right. Now here come the Astros, no score. Well, yo, thanks a lot, Ramon. I appreciate you. Salute. All right, let's get it, man. Word up. Up, oh, what's up? Uh, nah, ain't, ain't no, uh, I'm not using cheat codes on this. And towing the slab in this one, Garrett Cole. Power As you can see, I just got struck out. Speed you up with the fastball velocity, and out of his hand will explode the breaking ball. Very difficult for hitters. But if you want cheat codes for other games, make sure you download Clip because they know if they're not ready to pull the trigger, the fastball will beat them. Here's the second baseman, Mauricio Dubon. The second baseman. Right, let's go. Just missed. When Cole's brother-in-law Brandon Crawford took him deep, Cole signed a pair Yo, of I love the commentary, the camera one cuts, that said, Adios, Pelota, everything, man. And the other this one game is said, crazy. Out of here. Yeah, calls by the great John Miller and Dwayne Kuyper right. of the one, San one, Francisco one. Giants. Let's go. Ball to strike. That one missed. Ah, one strike. Right, let's go. 
Ah, 2-2 two, two pitch. 2-2 two, two pitch. I'm about to strike this dude out right now, son. About to strike him out right now. I got something for him. I got something for him. Hey, got him let's okay. go. Told Hold you. On. I told you. I told you I had something for him. All right, first strikeout. Now it's Alex Bregman. Let's go. First offering misses the mark. Singy, this guy was a shortstop most of his life. He's transitioned right. very nicely to third base. And the power has um, come at the major league level. I got something for him. Let's go. Woo! That was a nice, that was a nice cut, cut back right there. All right, 1-1. One, one. I right, hit him with the slider. One down, base is empty. Yeah, it's right two thing even though we don't see a whole lot of bunning these days i've always been with impressed the with how he's been able to make that play let's go the third base knuckle ball baby throw firm let's go he out of here sweet he out of here misses. let's go he's son over top of the curveball well anytime you can punch out the top two guys go be outside an inning gotta be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden Ooh. you're dealing with the number three hitter. Any distraction right. can cause you to serve no up base a hits cookie, yet. No and base hits instead yet. of it being a solo shot, it's a two or three run homer. That one misses in the dirt. Yeah, I was trying to make him bite on that one, but okay. I don't think I should have threw this pitch. Slap ah, foul. Woo! Close. Yeah, I knew I messed up. I knew I messed up. That 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 was almost a bad situation. Let's go. The one two. And Ooh. this is inside. Two two pitch. Two two pitch. I like that cut though. We're gonna try to cut again. Got Let's it. go. Strikes out and he's out of here. To begin the game. He's out of here. Into the first. Let's go. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Yo, the soundtrack is dope too on here. Let's go. It really feels like you're about to go into a commercial or something. Started. It's crazy. And now it's going to be DJ LeMahieu. All right, now we up. You gotta, we got to score something. Third baseman, Get a home run or something. This guy's at the top of the list. The crowd could look Stop. better, though. When you look at players Rats like this, you play that hot corner. All right, let's go. Got to be pretty courageous over there with the way balls come off the bat. Let's go! Kind of guy that every year Base to hit, be baby! Base and have hit! Glove we on the board, glove. baby! That was a great hit. That was a great hit. Let's go. All right, we making moves, baby. Willie Calhoun making moves. stands in here. We're making moves. All right. And ah. he swings and misses at the initial offering. Okay. Yeah. LeMayhew aboard here at first with nobody out. In the dirt, no, gets let's go, let's go. We stole second, second base, baby. Stole pitch. second and base. There goes the double play possibility. That was a wild pitch. Well, let's get it. Risk when you throw a breaking ball in the dirt. Even as Look good at as that. catchers are these days at blocking pitches. That Look one at just that. Let's go. Off, and that takes the double play opportunity away. This is fire. Yo, Frazier, what's going on, son? Yeah, this joint is crazy. This joint is crazy. Transfer. What difficulty I'm playing on? Uh, I think I'm playing on easy on this one. I'm not that good at uh, baseball games. Like I, I used to be really good. But I haven't one played one. in a while. Foul ball. Uh, hit me with a sinker. Right, let's go. A one two. Woo! High fly ball down Home the right run. Line. Oh wait, wait. Advanced ready runners to send all runners of the tag. Okay. Tucker makes the grab. Runner tags at second, and he's in safely at third. Let's go. First and third, baby. First and third. Yo, that was almost a home run, son. That was crazy. And now Bader up to the plate. 
has been I, such a good hitter with runners in scoring come on, position. Come on. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now Let's at the go. plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. Yeah, hey, I should have hit that. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch that. That, was, that, was my, that was my you pitch right there. You like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there in the mound. And he's down 0-2 oh, as he swings through it. Carl Dixon working the plate in this one. You know, we up, often man. hear and talk about up. umpires Boom. being a pitcher's umpire. Focus, man. We ain't got no outs, Maybe a little bit more hitter-friendly than most. He's kind of tight on the corners. So we'll see if that comes into play at all in this one. Hacks and misses. Oh, it's a strikeout. Bro. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher uh, this has is to step right here. Yo, Super Nardo really is nice in the building. What's going on, the baby? At the What's poppin', man? One love and God bless. I hope y'all enjoying the show right now. Welcome Waldo to the cheat code. We go to the game, hip hop the game. Let's get it poppin'. Ah, let's go, let's go, let's go. We got one, baby. We got one. We got one. Let's go. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Really nice job staying up the middle. Let's go. With we got one. We up one. Do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Let's go. What a hit. What a hit, baby. Here's the outside. Let's go. Two outs. There's a strike. Yo, Jose Trevino real talk. I thought that was gonna be a, a gold goal. glover that was and a, a guy pitch. that really does a great job presenting the ball. That was a great pitch. Yeah, breakout year in 2022. Led all catchers with 21 right, defensive runs saved. Oh. Next pitch has popped up. Pop up. Abreu That's brings it. it in for the third out. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's yep, now we'll, one nothing. We up. Back after this on the show. I'm telling y'all, man, I love the television broadcast style of MLB the show, man. They do, they do such a great, phenomenal job. Ready to with go for the last half of the like, you know, watching the first baseball, Jose although Abreu. you're playing baseball. And that right there is genius to me. Amazing man, the game has so much personality. It comes to life, the music, the crowd, everything. Like this joint is dope. I love it. So look, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed the show today. You know what I'm saying? This is crazy. Shout out to Bobby Wright. King Spider is in the building. I Hollywood is in the building. You know what I'm saying? A Kika Monster, fully loaded. Amp thoughts. Um, uh, uh Francie. Uh, what up, Brooke? Yo, much love to everybody up in here. You know what I'm saying? Yo, King Spider, what you think, son? Is Jordan's dope or what? So look, so I'm going to tell y'all right now. I hope y'all really enjoyed the show. Once again, shout out to my man, Cal Tucker. Like, he plays for the Houston Astros. He's a World Series champion in the MLB. You know what I'm saying? Got the ring and all. So it was an honor to have him on today. So that was great. I hope y'all enjoyed the game. You know what I mean? And also, if you're looking for the hottest cheat codes, make sure you download Plitch. Get the hottest cheat codes for all the games. And we lit on that note. Now, I'm telling y'all, pay attention. There's a lot going on right now, especially in gaming. You know what I'm saying? So, we got Summer Games Fest coming up. Shout out to my man Ed Boone that just dropped that teaser trailer. You know what I mean? For the next game that they're doing. It's about to be a movie. For real. It's crazy right now. You know what I mean? So get hype and get that energy right. You know what I mean? So on that note, it's the one and only go to the game. Hip-hop gamer, Logitech G-A-M-D. On your hot 9-7 every day. That's my word. I love y'all. And I catch y'all tomorrow. Let's get it. Peace.